Hi, Bridge Tower Media's product editor, Lauren Rose, is here. And joining me live from Atlanta Market is Accent Decor's Chief Creative Officer, Sarah Bagley. Sarah, how are you today? Good, how are you doing? So Hi. happy to welcome you guys virtually. Yes, we're so excited to see everything. I understand you have a bunch of new collections, so let's dive in. I'm excited to see everything. Yeah, well, welcome to our showroom here in Atlanta. We're excited to finally be able to welcome people into the physical space and launch some of our new collections. Um, of course, we have social distancing and masking. I just took my mask off for this conversation, so don't be alarmed. <laughs> um, but one of the collections that we're debuting here in Atlanta is our new Halloween collection. This is something that's completely new to Accent Decor. Um, we saw an opportunity in the market to create something extremely unique and different from what you're seeing elsewhere. Um, so that's what you're seeing behind me here is our new Halloween 2021 collection. Um, it feels almost like you're in a witch's cabinet with um, apothecary jars, cloches. There's these really fun cauldrons that you could drop a plant into. Um, our crystal ball here up top. Um, and then one of my favorite details are all of these little monster pots. Um, so they're really playful, unique. Those everything is, I love everything that. is designed in house. So everything is exclusive to accent decor. Um, great. so how was this collection? How did you kind of get into the Halloween theme? I know since this is new for you, how did this kind of become a thing? Yeah, we've been hearing from our customers for a while. They've been saying, we do so much Halloween for some of our customers. It's become even bigger than Christmas. And wow. they were saying they, they were kind of missing that accent decor flair on the products that they're seeing in the market. Um, so we had a brainstorming session with our product designers and our creative team to kind of talk about what could we do that would be different. And we really wanted to bring personality to the space. And I feel like we've accomplished that with our collection here. Definitely. It looks great. I love it. It's like an elevated Halloween decor. That's what we're going for. I love hearing that. <laughs> I love it. It's great. Um, should I show you a few more of my favorite pieces? Yeah, show us some of the favorites and, you know, some of the items that are trending and most popular right now. Yeah. Um, so one of my personal favorites is this brass hand that's holding a little glass globe. So you could plant a little terrarium in there. It's spooky and elevated all at the same time. That is so neat. Um, one of my other favorites is over here. Um, this is so cute as a candy dish with these little ghosts sitting on the edge. And then it has this great speckled glaze. Um, so again, you could plant in this with the plant craze that's happening. Or it's really sweet as a candy dish serving on Halloween night. I love that. Um, and I can't help but be in love with all of the monsters that we created this season. So I showed you the one green pot, but we have a few others that are really fun, like this little tea light. You put the tea light inside of the monster's mouth and it glows through his eyes. So just lots of fun details. Um, fun. Now, what are those made of? I can't see. Yeah, the monster collection is made out of ceramics, um, but we worked with our factory to create a lot of texture. So you can see the, the hand painting that's happening, even the natural clay that's exposed, and then a matte glaze that's on top. So there's a lot of dimension happening within the product. I love those, a lot of details. Well, do you guys have any other questions about the Halloween collection or should I move on to the launch of our Harvest collection as well? Let's, let's go take a look at the Harvest now. All right. So another collection we wanted to launch this January that we're super excited about and our customers have been asking about for a while is our Harvest collection. Um, this collection was created with dinner with your family in mind. How much are we all looking forward to eating with our families in Thanksgiving 2022? Just this <laughs> thought of gathering and harvest and a bountiful meal in front of us. So there's a lot of serveware 
um, incorporated. So really beautiful serving bowls. Those are beautiful. I love those. Little ramekins. So everything is very minimal with the matte glaze. And then we worked with an in-house designer on these watercolors that are beautifully offsetting those matte finishes. There's a really cute butter dish. Oh, that's, that's great. I love that. Um, and then one of my personal favorites, let's see if I can easily get this for you. Um, we created a collection of elevated serving dishes. So you have the tiered tray here and then the serving dish sits on top. So we have all different layers so you can create this staggered tablescape. That and is then so each fun. one has a little watercolor painting inside of it. Oh, I love so that. I think it makes entertaining a little bit more fun with some of those surprises. Oh yeah, definitely. That will be a beautiful table setting. I love that. Um, and I can't help but talk about some of the beautiful floral displays that we have here. Accent mm -hmm. Decor always has live, fresh florals and plants in our showroom. Um, one of my personal favorites is this arrangement that you're seeing here. Um, they're all done by Botanica Floral Design out of Tampa. Um, the most talented team, um, father-daughter duo, which is obviously close to my heart since my parents started Accent Decor. Um, so I always love working with other family businesses. Absolutely. Uh, a few other details within the Harvest Collection are some of these, the fungi and mushrooms. So we're selling these preserved um, fungi here in a lot of different natural earthy colors. And then we've incorporated mushrooms into our products as well, like this terrarium dish here with cast aluminum mushrooms on the side. Again, really beautiful for planting or for serving. Um, but we see mushrooms being a huge icon in 2022 and continuing on. So interesting. I love how everything you're showing can be used multiple ways, not just one way. So you're really getting a lot of use out of all the products. Um, let's see what else to show you. I'm realizing that I'm now saying 2022. I'm working too <laughs> far ahead because our team is working on our 2022 collection while we're debuting our 2021 collection. So this That's will okay. all be available That's in 2021. Okay. I, you meant. I was just hoping you weren't thinking 2021 is going to be like 2020 and just kind of skipping past this. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's hope not. We definitely I, don't want that to be the case. I know. I know. Um, I'm trying to think if there's a few other details to show you guys here. There's some really beautiful hand-painted pumpkins that we were debuting also. These are ceramic, um, but each one is individually painted by hand, so there's going to be some variation, but it has this really nice watercolor effect to them as well. Um, and we have four different sizes and four different colors, so again, they layer really beautifully into your tablescape. So what other colors are those available? And I see the green and... Yeah, then we have this soft orange here. Beautiful. And then this deeper color here, bringing in some of the reds and playing off of the oranges as well. So we wanted to take those natural elements and what you naturally see with pumpkins and kind of enhance that and play off of it a little bit with the watercolor effect. Love those. And similar to our Halloween collection, the Harvest collection is all designed in-house. So everything you're seeing is exclusive to Accent Decor. Beautiful. How about those um, mushroom shaped items in the back with the kind of like a pink top behind you? These ones? A or the giant bigger. ones yeah the giant me. ones behind you those were catching my eye I was like I want to see what those are yeah so these are actually a prop created by one of our very talented display artists um so they she dyed fabric here so there's a gauzy fabric and then the texture that you're seeing underneath here to fill in the mushroom those are all coffee filters oh my gosh that is so cool um and I really wish you could see and touch the in person because there's some really cool textures and the hand painting that's happening gives a lot of dimension to those. They've definitely been a hit and um, 
we sell off all of our visual displays after the show and all of the proceeds are donated to art programs here in Atlanta. So if anyone's interested, you can reach out to us. Oh, that's so neat. I love that. Very cool. Well, any other questions about harvest or should we move on to our symbology trend story? Let's go to symbology. Now, Sarah, how's the traffic at market currently? You know, it's been surprisingly busy. There's um, capacity limits in each showroom and we've been at capacity steadily throughout yesterday and today. So it's exciting to have everyone back. I think everyone's been eager to shop and eager to see product again in person. Of course, I know, I wish I was there. Me too. Hopefully soon. (laughs) Yeah. Um, So this is our symbology trend story. Um, I think this shelf is a really great representation of the products and the moods that we're seeing. Um, This is a trend story that we've been seeing up and coming within the home decor space for a few years now. And I feel like we've just seen trickles of it. And now there's kind of an explosion of it everywhere. Um, But it's very earthy. Um, You'll notice a lot of terracotta and these elements that are of the earth and influenced by ancient practices of pottery Um, and the shapes themselves have much of this arcing that you're seeing throughout all the different shapes in here Um, and there's something organic about it as well so everything has a handmade feel handmade element to it so rich glazes contrasted with terracotta pieces Um, And then all of these little details that are added on here as well with this arcing. Those are amazing. So how did this symbology theme kind of come about? Um, So it is something that we've been seeing happening for a minute, um, especially partnered with dried florals. I'm sure you guys have been seeing the spike of the dried floral trend. And I think all of the pieces in here pair really well with that type of material. Um, and we, again, had a lot of discussion within our team about what influences are we seeing? And a lot of it is hearkening to the past and, um, relating back to the past and where we came from to get to now. And I think with COVID and everybody at home, it's given us a chance to reconnect with our roots and you feel that within this story. Definitely. And Al, has there been a customer favorite so far from this collection? Um, well, let me show you a few more displays and then I can pull out some of our favorites. Um, one of our new product types that customers have been excited to see are these mirrors. Uh, mirrors are a new thing for accent decor this season. And we've seen a rise in popularity with that again with everyone at home and wanting to create a space of sanctuary at home. Um, I hope your customers are seeing the same thing we are, that people are investing in making their spaces a sanctuary. Um, And so little details like decorative mirrors, um, we've seen a rise in demand for. So we're excited to launch this collection and quite a few of them are designed exclusively by our design team. So again, exclusive to Accent Decor. Love those. I love all the natural materials. I feel like that's been a huge trend I've seen a lot. So definitely seeing that here as well. For sure. Um, I'll keep going. I can show you guys a few other items that I'm excited about within this trend story. Yes, let's do that. I love all the greenery. So pretty. And Sarah, when will these um, products be available? So Halloween and Harvest are available starting in June. Um, Everything else you're seeing in this symbology story, we're debuting now in January and everything will trickle in over the next few weeks. Okay, great. Another product I'm really excited to share um, are these pot and saucer combos. 
again, you can see the heavy earthenware um, and these saucers that are made by hand and the pot that sits on top of it with the exposed clay underneath and then the, uh, the matte glaze on top and all of these little divots are made by hand as well. And oh, with the rise in popularity in plants, all those trendy plant plant parent plant parents are looking for pots with drainage so that they can properly care for their plants. Um, so we continue to see a rise in demand for pots with saucers and that combo. And I just love that these are a unique offering for that. Definitely. Now, do those come in other colors as well, or? Is so we have a variety of shapes and styles. So you can see this larger size has a complementary style to it. And then we have another medium size over here with a slightly different style. Oh, those are great. Love them. And I just love the way that they're playing off some of these natural elements like this basket made from banana leaves behind it, these handmade oversized pots. And then you can see some of the oversized dried florals behind it, just the combination of all of these natural elements together, all popping off of this beautiful white glaze. Yes, I, I love it all. Beautiful. Um, something I do want to highlight is that a much larger percent of, of our products this season are designed in-house by our team. Um, I know you guys had been asking questions about what were some of our challenges with COVID this year. And one of the biggest challenges for us is we typically travel overseas and work with our factories, see what designs they have, select from things that we're seeing, and that just wasn't possible this year. Um, so we had to completely rethink our product development process. And a lot of that ended up coming in-house and we sent a lot more designs off to our factories and worked in collaboration with them and their artisans and their talent. And I'm so excited about the collection that came about as a result of it. I think it really pushed us creatively and forced us to think about how things have been done in the past. Are, are there more items in this collection that you would like to show me? Yeah, I would love to show you another piece of inspiration from this symbology trend story. Something else we've been seeing a rise of are these moon phases. So I love this display that our display artists created here out of metal, showcasing the different phases of the moon. And we've been seeing this incorporated heavily into home decor elements. So a few of my favorites within our collection, um, are these pots. It has a really cool speckled glaze that almost feels like the surface of the moon. And then the moon phases are etched in there and then hand painted with this matte gold finish. So all, all right. in all a really high end look to it. I love those. Those are so fun. And are those in different sizes as well? Yes, we have three sizes available of those. Um, we also have these pots with a natural terracotta underneath. A relief has been created with the matte glaze. Oh, those are great. I love the moon phases. We have a few other fun elements with the moon phases. Uh, we added a few little trinket dishes this season. So I love this little sleepy moon and the sleepy sun trinket dishes like I would love to use that and just drop some rings in there keep my jewelry and my earrings I, I also think that's really great for gift shops if they oh, sell jewelry definitely a great gift idea those are great and how did the moons I mean I know you saw, said that became kind of popular naturally was there something that was that nudged to create this or I think again, it goes back to what's at the heart of this symbology trend story. And it's really this connection with nature and this connection with the earth. So bringing out those earthly elements and the moon phases really bring into that and the shape of the moon itself. You can see within the products, all of the arcing that you're seeing and the lines specifically are being pulled out of that concept as well. Love that. Well, we're about at the end of our time. So I know you had one more um, collection that you wanted to show. So I think that one's earthenware, correct? 
Yeah, we're right through the doorway here. So I wanted to show a few elements within earthenware. Okay, perfect. I did to see this one. So I'd love to just show you the length of this table. Oh, wow. Um, so you can see we have cutting boards, pitchers, candles, these really beautiful rattan trays. You could collect plants in there. It could be a serving tray. And I love that pitcher with just the wildflowers in it. I think all of this just goes back to that simplicity of home and creating that sanctuary space yet again. Um, people really want to know where products are made, how they're made, and have elements in their home that they're proud to display. And I think this story specifically conveys that message. Definitely. I also feel like more so than ever, people really want products that tell a story and accent decor, everything does that. So I love that special. Well, thank you. Um, you guys have a lot going on, a lot of beautiful new collections. And I know that everything's shoppable online at your website as well. It is. Um, so we debuted everything on our website this past week. So check it out with some really beautiful lifestyle images. And we have a new website launch coming next month. So check that out. And then in the next couple of weeks, we'll also be launching our virtual showroom. So if you weren't able to travel here to market for many different reasons, we hope you can still experience the showroom virtually. So please keep an eye out for that as well. Definitely. If you are in Atlanta, lucky you, take a look at their showroom, Building 1, 18th Floor E18. Thank you so much, Sarah. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much, guys. Hope we can see you in person soon. Take care.